a little disappointing because I was just like really looking forward to getting on the mountain this weekend and skiing. sitting on the floor but just to get the good lighting from the window so ignore that I'm also not sure how we're feeling about the beanie braid situation we're trying something new out it is really 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 cold in Denver this weekend it's currently in negative two degrees outside I need to wear a hat and also my hair is not cooperating so we're rocking with this look I'm not sure how I feel about it but we're rolling with it today is Sunday it is MLK weekend so we have a three-day weekend this weekend which is really nice yesterday was Saturday we were supposed to go skiing we quite literally tried to go skiing we drove all the way to Keystone and sat in mountain traffic and got out our skis put all of our stuff on just to learn that Keystone was closed for the day because they had 65 mile per hour winds so none of the chairlifts or anything were open so then we drove from Keystone to Breckenridge because we have the epic pass so we have a ton of mountains in that area and Breckenridge is only 25 minutes from Keystone so we drove all the way to Breckenridge put our stuff back on parked the car took the bus to like one of the zones whatever it's called and waited in line for I kid you not like 30 minutes before we finally gave up because the ski lift lines were like an hour and a half to two hours long and also my ski boots like don't fit my feet properly they're extremely extremely painful I've never had that with ski boots I owned a previous pair and I left those back in Virginia because they're kind of old and then I've been renting for the last few years whenever we've gone on trips so this is like my first time buying new ski boots in a while and I just don't think that these particular ski boots work for my feet so we need to go to REI today to either return and get a new pair or see if they can adjust them but basically like my calves were cramping so bad when we were standing in line that I was like sick to my stomach they hurt so bad so we got out of line went back to the car we walked around the downtown of Breckenridge for just a little bit we got lunch and then we drove all the way back to Denver so yesterday was a bust a little disappointing because I was just like really looking forward to getting on the mountain this weekend and skiing and seeing what all the hype is about but honestly we should have looked at the weather and just known that it probably wasn't the best weekend to be on the mountain. Even like a lot of locals that are around here were saying that this is the weekend that they're staying off the mountain, not only because of the weather, but also because of MLK weekend, the lines are just gonna be obnoxiously long and super frustrating. And so we probably should have listened to that, but we tried it anyways, didn't work out for us, it's fine. So we were gonna ski today and tomorrow too, and we're not doing that anymore either. We're just gonna hang out in the city of Denver and just kind of vibe we're getting ready to go to dutch bros this morning which if you're not familiar with what dutch bros is it's a drive through coffee shop chain and they're known for their specialty drinks so they have a ton of different coffees and lattes and things of that sort on their menu and apparently they're really really delicious so we're gonna go try that out this morning it's been on my list for so long to try dutch bros and so i'm very very excited to like see what all the hype is about so we're doing that this morning then i think we're gonna run a few errands i honestly probably will just go to rei like immediately after getting coffee because I want to get the ski boot situation figured out so that we can just like fix the problem and have them for next week and when we actually go skiing. So that's the plan for this morning. I just wanted to welcome you guys back to the vlog. If you missed the why we're in Denver, I posted two vlogs before this one, a road trip vlog and then my first week in Denver and that kind of explains the situation a little bit more. So go watch those two vlogs if you missed it. I'm excited to have a weekend local to the city see what all the hype is about although I don't know how much exploring we're gonna do because of how cold it is I mean I'm just looking out of our window right now and the wind looks extremely aggressive <laughs>
sitting in the Dutch Bros line. This is the worst camera angle and the worst lighting. It is taking us like a little bit. I think we've been sitting in this line for like 10 minutes now. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely not as efficient as Starbucks, but I'm excited. I feel like because the line is long, that means that it's probably good. We're gonna go to Target after and get a duvet cover. Duvet. Duvet. Just a duvet insert. Um, the Airbnb like didn't have thick bedding. He literally only had a really thin quilted top to go on top of the bed, which doesn't make sense to me because I don't know how anyone's sleeping like that. So we have to go buy a duvet insert, which is kind of annoying that we have to even buy that, but it's fine because we'll just bring it back to Virginia or New York or wherever we end up after with us. So after Dutch Bros, I think we're gonna run to Target. We do have to run back to the apartment before we go to REI because I forgot my ski socks and I need ski socks to be able to try on my ski boots for them. I think like I should also call and make sure that they do ski boot fittings on the weekends. Wouldn't hurt. Just so we don't go out of the way. Not that it's like far, but mm. you know what I mean? So that's the plan for now. I'm really excited to try this Dutch Bros. Mm. I'm getting the kicker. You guys cannot see that, but it's an Irish cream brev. I don't know what a brev is, but it says there's nothing more classic than a kicker. A delightful brev with a blend of espresso, half and half, and Irish cream syrup gives you the kick you need to have an awesome day. So it sounds like it's just a latte with half and half and Irish cream, but I don't know what a brev is, do you? Like a beverage? Or a breve? B-R-E-V. Breakfast. So that's what I'm getting, and then John's getting... I'm gonna do the salted caramel protein one. Oh, you're not doing the sparkly one anymore? Yeah, I changed my mind. Are you hungry? Getting hungry? No, I just... Sounds interesting. You don't want the glitter one? Uh, I can do the glitter one too. No, it's okay. You get what you want. He was gonna do the vanilla cold brew with shine, and it's literally just a cold brew with a glitter in it, <laughs> which is bizarre, but also kind of fun. We're next in line. We're next in line. Do you think they'll notice the camera if I leave it up there? Yeah, I don't think so. It's kind of hidden. Is it? Yeah. Hi, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, can I do a kicker, a medium kicker? Could I please do the uh, medium salted caramel protein latte hot, please? Yeah, of course. Caramel latte hot. Anything else for you guys this morning? Uh, no, thank you. All right. It's going to be twelve ninety two this morning. Do we have a Dutch Bro app at all? Oh, latte. Perfect. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks. We just drove to Target, and in this Target parking lot, they have a Club Pilates, which is so exciting. Definitely going to continue doing the Pilates classes closer to the city, but kind of nice to know that they have a club Pilates if I don't like any of the other Pilates studios. All right, we're gonna try this now. Well, wow, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm a big fan. This is so good. It wasn't much more expensive than Starbucks either. I thought it was gonna be like really pricey. Mm -hmm. and it was like six bucks. Yeah. Well, 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're in Denver, you have to go to Dutch Bros. This is the kicker, and I didn't get anything like different. It's literally half and half cream, Irish cream pumps, and espresso. It's super good. All right, we're gonna go on Target now to get a duvet cover because we need that because it's freezing in our apartment at night. Wait, this shopping plaza has everything. They have a Club Pilates, and then I don't want to face the camera that way, but down there, there's a crumble cookies. All right, we're back in the apartment. We're gonna chill for a little bit before we go to REI, just because John wants to make breakfast and I wanna sit on the couch. It is actually so insanely cold outside. I know I said that this morning, but just being outside, like I walked outside and literally, yeah, it's just like unbearable, like it hurts. It's so cold. So I think today and tomorrow are just gonna be chill days around here. We might do a few things, but I don't think we're gonna do too much. We might go to a brewery tonight to watch some of the NFL playoff games that are on. There's so many breweries in Denver. Like that's one thing that I'm learning is there's a brewery I think on every corner and I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. There are so many around here. So I think that we're gonna try to maybe test one of them out, go to one tonight for a game, chill, do something of that sort, but we don't really have any grand plans for the day, but I wanted to give you guys an update. We're gonna hang out here for a bit and then get back in the car and go to REI to get the ski boost situation figured out. I actually need to call them really quickly and make sure that their ski experts are like in the store because they have like a whole section where you walk in and get like a pager and someone will be assigned to you to like fit ski boots, it's like a whole thing basically. So I wanna make sure they're actually in the store today before we venture over there with the ski boots. 
but that is the current plan that's the update also i said this before but just to say it again dutch bros 10 out of 10 literally so good i can't wait to go back and try all the different drinks that they have i might try a different location next time just to switch it up there was nothing wrong with the location that we went to we went to the one in lakewood but i just think it'd be fun to try out the different locations see the different vibes and things of that sort so would highly recommend if you're in the area we just got back from rei and i got some new ski boots the other ones were not gonna work i just spilled my stanley all over the floor <laughs> so the boys went but i got fitted for ski boots in new york at the rei and they fitted me to atomics and basically when i went into the rei in denver today i was just explaining like the issues i was having yesterday which was essentially that my toes were going extremely numb and then my calves hurt so bad that i could barely stand up and the person immediately said that he would not have put me in atomics because the atomics are meant for people with narrow calves and narrow feet and i do not have that so i switched from atomics to nordica and hopefully these work out better Honestly, ski boots are just so particular to the person in your feet, so I'm not gonna know if these ones work out until I ski in them next weekend, but I feel like they're already gonna be better. Like, just putting these on my feet compared to the Atomics, they just instantly felt better. I also did heat molding, so if you buy ski boots from REI, they do complimentary heat molding to your feet, like the inserts of the boots to your feet. Also, REI is great because they have like a free return policy within 90 days if you're not a member and then one year if you are a member. And if you are a member, it's $30 and it's like a lifetime guarantee. I became a member today, but previously I wasn't a member. So these are what we're working with now. They look very similar to my other ones, but different brand, different style. And what I like about these is that you can actually adjust the calf area on these boots. So this screw in the back, if you unscrew it, you can widen the calf. And if you tighten the screw, you obviously tighten the calf area. And since I was having issues with the calf area yesterday, they opened it up on both boots. So I'm glad that I got that checked off the list. These were a little bit more expensive than the Atomic, but I just think it would be worth it in the long run, especially if I plan on keeping these boots for many, many years. So... I'm glad I got that done. We're gonna chill for a little bit and then I think we're gonna go to a brewery to watch one of the playoff football games. I think I mentioned that earlier. I think we're gonna go probably to like the 6.30 game and have a cider, a beer, and just hang out and test out a brewery near us. But I'm glad that I checked this off the list because I was genuinely so frustrated with my boot yesterday that it wasn't even funny. Like we were in line at Breckenridge and I made us get out of line because I could not stand up. My calves hurt so bad, which I was partly being dramatic, but partly like also I was in so much pain that it was just not worth it to me to stay there. So I'm hoping these work out. I'm not going to know until I use them for the first time next weekend, but I already have like a way better feeling about these. And then also just the way the guy was explaining it at this store was so much better than the person that explained it to me at the store in New York. So happy with my experience at the very least. So I'm excited to try these out and hopefully they work. We also got, what are these called? I also got foot beds put into my ski boots because the guy said that I have the highest arches that he's ever seen, which I know I have high arches. That's why when I played lacrosse in high school, I was prone to rolling my ankles and like any sport or any thing that I've ever done, I'm just prone to rolling my ankles. My calves always hurt. My shins always hurt. Just activities in general are uncomfortable if I don't have the right equipment. So I actually knew that going into it, but he said that this should help like relieve any pain in my knees and shins because of high have high arches it's like meant for that also do you know that you can customize these to like these are not just for ski boots they're for running shoes and hiking and winter boots too so i'm sure i could take the soles out well i guess he fit it specifically to the ski boots so yeah but theoretically i would take these out and like put them in my running shoes yeah like dr soles yeah yeah but they're like your own shirts so hopefully between the molding the new boots and these i will have zero issues next weekend should be good to go.
like a week and I'm already experiencing the chapped lip situation. I cannot get enough of Aquaphor. My lips literally feel so weird. And I think it's because they're incredibly dry no matter how much Aquaphor I put on my lips. Also, I kind of feel like this makes my lips more dry. Is that a normal thing? Hello, you guys. It is Monday. It's Martin Luther King Day today. So I have been off of work. It's now like 2.30 p.m. So I haven't talked to the vlog all day today. I vlogged a few clips of my morning this morning. But we were going to go out and about today and run some errands. I wanted to pick up some Nespresso pods. We needed to run to L.L. Bean. And John wanted to do a few things. And it was at this outlet mall that's like 20 to 30 minutes away from here. And we woke up this morning and it was like whiteout conditions. Like you could barely see out of our window like our we have a pretty clear view out of our window on a normal day but today we could literally barely see a few yards in front of our window or out of our window if that makes any sense we decided to have a very very slow start to the day i sat on the couch and read for hours i'm reading the second book in the chestnut spring series and i'm loving it i haven't been into reading lately just because i feel like i haven't really had time to read lately and by the time my head hits the pillow in bed i just want to go to sleep immediately and i don't really want to stay up reading so i haven't been reading too much recently and i just used this morning as the opportunity to catch up on reading and read some of my book and I went from 70 pages to like 250 pages now so I got a good portion of reading done. I think I'm going to read a little bit more in a bit. I also just went to the gym in our building for the first time and I did the Peloton bike which was really really nice. I took an alley, I think her name is Allie Love, but I took a cycling class on the Peloton bike. 30 minutes of that, that was really good. Then I did a quick stretch and now I'm back up here. I need to run to the grocery store later. John wants to wait and go with me, so we're gonna wait until halftime of the football game that he's watching, and then we're gonna go to King Supers and get some food for the week. We like planned out meals in our notes app of things we wanna eat this week. We're gonna try to get back on a healthy routine of eating good, fulfilling, healthy meals. I wanna get my health in check and just like nutrition in check, so we're doing that a little bit later, but I wanted to hop on the camera and just say hello because I literally have not vlogged at all today not that there was much to vlog because me sitting on the couch just reading my book is not very entertaining for you guys but it was entertaining for me <laughs> so that's what we've been up to today i will bring you guys grocery shopping with me and then i'll also do a massive grocery haul because i haven't done one of those in a while supers and i'm gonna do a little grocery haul of everything that we got we have a lot of really delicious meals on the menu for the week so all of the ingredients i think pertain to the specific recipe so we have mushrooms wrapped ton of celery because i couldn't find anything less we have chick-fil-a sauce broccoli apples onions carrots we have two things of uncooked gnocchi. This is actually the, for the recipe that we're doing tonight. So after I take a shower and get myself organized, I'm gonna cook dinner and I will take you guys along with. We have white wine vinegar, cooking wine, some Pinot Grigio. We have bay leaves, this rotisserie chicken. The chicken? Did I say chicken? No, that's the chicken. Why are you calling it a ticken? It's rotisserie chicken. It's ticken for short. Where did you get that from? Twitter? No. You just made it up? No, it's street knowledge. I've never heard anyone call a rotisserie chicken a ticken. I know what it shows. Okay. Comment down below if you call your rotisserie chicken a ticken. <laughs> oh, we have, wow, that's a lot of ham. Mm -hmm. Ham, turkey for sandwiches, rice. We have English muffins. I've been loving these for breakfast. It's just a super simple breakfast ton of chicken sorry if you don't like raw meat i used to blur it out and then it just got too much if you don't like raw meat i'm sorry we got two things of chicken broth ziploc bags for stuff popcorn for snacks heavy whipping cream two celsius we have the orange flavor and then we have the 
sparkling watermelon flavor, Starbucks Pike Place Roast Nespresso Virtual Pods. I didn't get a chance to go to the Nespresso Boutique like I was supposed to today because of the weather, so I just picked these up from King Supers. Not sure I'd do this again because I think these were like $12 for eight capsules, which is kind of absurd for Nespresso Pods because I think the Nespresso sleeve comes with 12 and it's less than this, so I don't know if I'd do that again, but good to hold us over. And then last but not least, a little ginger shot for some immunity, just because I feel like I'm getting kind of sick. So massive grocery haul, but I'm glad we got this out of the way so we don't have to go back to the grocery store. Actually, we do have to go to Whole Foods tomorrow or later tonight to pick up the risotto. I'm making mushroom risotto, which I make pretty frequently. We need arborio rice, but King Supers didn't have it. So we will be back to the grocery store, but the main haul is done and over with. Same angle except I'm clean, showered, and I blow dried my hair. I'm getting ready to make dinner. I'm making this recipe that I found on TikTok. It's called creamy chicken gnocchi soup. It looks basically just like a chicken noodle soup, but with gnocchi instead of like normal noodles. So I'm gonna go based off of this. If we end up liking it, I will link it down below, but it looked really, really delicious. And I think it should only take us a little bit to make. Let's see how long. Maybe like a half an hour to make, if even that. I just have to chop a bunch of stuff, so that's probably gonna take the longest. But other than that, I think we should be able to make this fairly quickly. So I would say it makes about three portions for two people. So we'll have two bowls tonight and then one bowl for leftover for whoever wants to have it for lunch or dinner tomorrow. I would give it like an eight out of 10. I thought it was really good. What would you give it? Eight out of 
You liked it? Mm -hmm. It was very, very easy. The longest part was the vegetables because just chopping carrots, celery, onions, garlic is just a pain in the butt. I really hate chopping vegetables. So that was the longest part of the recipe. But after that it was really easy because it all just goes into one pot and then simmers on the stove for a little bit. So I would highly recommend, I'll have the recipe linked down below if you want to check it out. Very beginner friendly, I would say, if you're new to cooking. Also, pro tip, I've been doing this for a while and I just feel like it makes cooking so much more enjoyable. I am a big fan of cleaning as I go when I cook. One, it just makes cooking like less intimidating because you don't have to clean up a massive mess after dinner. And two, it just feels like less overwhelming because I feel like when I have a ton of cups, bowls, food on the counter, pan pots, pans, smells, like things going on, I feel super, super overwhelmed. So I would highly recommend if you're new to cooking or you just feel overwhelmed when you cook, definitely cook as you go because now we're completely done with dinner and because I cleaned dishes while like the soup was simmering and certain parts were simmering, I now don't have to clean up the kitchen after dinner and I can just put away the leftovers and be done with it. So I would highly recommend doing that if cooking is a little daunting to you guys. Anyways, I am getting ready to put away the clothes on the bed, put some sheets on her bed and then probably sit on the couch for the rest of the night and read. So I wanna go ahead and end off this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe down below, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.